see more people are joining on Facebook. Guys, if you're watching on Facebook, please feel free to ask questions as well uh, in the comments and we'll be answering them. Okay. So, uh, have you ever been heard about how many websites are live in the web? And you probably know that it's about 1 billion domains in the web are registered, but how many websites are live? It's about actually 180 million live websites in the web today. And if you try to find out their background, uh, you can simply find that most of them, of course, except one page, simple websites, are backed with most popular CMS. And you know all of them. And uh, as an example, here's some final statistics about that. And the next slide. So, uh, a heart of active websites in the web runs WordPress. And just about 3% run Joomla, the second popular CMS in the web. And by the way, this historical and market fact simply explains why uh, there are so many website protection services find their focus on WordPress only. Mm -hmm. And a lot of hosting providers separate WordPress hosting to a unique branch over their products line and offering this a separate offering. So let's back to our story of vulnerabilities. So, uh, for simplicity, let's make a further story about WordPress only. Uh, all these words are also true for the all other people, uh, for, all, all, uh, uh, for all popular CMS like Joomla or Joomla or Magento or PrestaShop, etc. Uh, but simply because WordPress is definitely known to everyone, let's analyze the problem through WordPress only. So, where do vulnerabilities come from? Of course, basically, the more complex the functionality of your site is, then more likely you to face two vulnerabilities. Just cause the number of plugins and number of components on your website. And, uh, and there are more than 50,000 plugins and themes, different uh, plugins and themes for WordPress only. And you know, a lot of them are vulnerable are vulnerable due to a developer technical mm -hmm. ground or contains zero day vulnerabilities or even contains even placing backdoors as an further example. So well in logical that if attackers can find such vulnerabilities on your site or maybe they already know in advance that vulnerable components uh, have been installed on your uh, on your own on your website, it's a quite obvious that your site will be infected or damaged, or sanctions will be imposed on it. Wherever, uh, in any case, this will most likely grind your business to a halt simply because your business is your website, and a business interruption, as you know, is almost always means a death for. 14 million small and medium sized businesses. And what even worse, searching for vulnerabilities on sites is an automatic process for most cases. Attackers automatically and massively try to identify vulnerabilities on tens of thousand sites at once. That means that your site can be automatically, sorry, I guess, well, yeah. Vulnerability. Uh, that means that your website can be uh, automatically damaged. And uh, mm -hmm. so, how to be protected? Uh, the answer is really simple. You can try to do two things. And at least just one thing if you have no basic skill in site management. I mean, if you have no even basic skill as web professional. So, uh, there are two points to work professionally about that, uh, how to be protected. I mean, the first of all, you can use some software to find and fix vulnerabilities on your websites or on your clients' websites. And it's better to do that before it causes serious harm uh, that leads to a business interruption and take the life right out of your company. And 
The secondly, it looks a good way to train your staff and gain their site management skills to advanced level, or at least to do not let, let them shoot your leg due to their low technical program. Or, or, of course, if you are not a web professional, you can transfer your site to web professionals to manage its safety, right? And, but, but how not to be a not web professional is not about you guys. You are all web professionals. So to transfer your website to other people is not your way. So your way is most likely is <clears throat> do it on, do it on okay. yourself and find some software and train your stuff. So that was some layer of theory. So what's about really things we can try and show you for today? Uh, you probably heard about WordPress VCD epidemic, right? And VP uh, WordPress VCD is a backdoor that operates on your website and lead to a real harm. Uh, the main attack vector is WordPress theme. That backdoor has through the cracked WordPress theme you may get on some unofficial sources. Uh, that all means that the value uh, that value can be uh, the the reason uh, your website is under attack just. Because one of these hacked and official theme being uploaded to your WordPress sites on your own or by the hands of your staff. Uh, that was a really huge epidemic in 17, mm -hmm. 18, and 19 years. Uh, covered a lot of magazines, and that, were, uh, that was really, really screaming epidemic. So it's basically about that somebody downloads uh, like hacked, stolen. Yeah, the core. And of, uh, yeah, the core. And the core of the PVCD is uploading a liquid WordPress theme. Mm -hmm. So some uh, you probably uh, might know about your WordPress theme or, or liquid. Just your webmaster tries to save some money to keep their money and. One day, she'll try to find something for free, and mm -hmm. that's him with the back door. So it's what the cause of your business interruption. So that was a huge epidemic. Some tiny, uh, some tales of that epidemic we can see right now. And so about VPVCD. Uh, uh, VPVCD usually affects all themes on your WordPress website. And if you upload it, it once, the all themes is going to be infected. Uh, if there are other honest, uh, WordPress sites nearby to your host, they can be else infected too. Uh, and a site administrator account can be created for an attack automatically, and illegal links and sales spam and redirects have been injected to the page of your website mm -hmm. instantly. And there's also an illegal content, so a substitution of the site is possible too. And the site becomes a member of botnet and spamming the dirty text and a lot of things. And all of this shit happens in seconds on your websites and really uh, leads your business to a halt uh, due to uh, safe browsing logs. Uh, visitors can, can get access to your website mm -hmm. and some sanctions against your website uh, from your hosting providers. They just can suspend your account entirely with all your websites. You can have some several websites on your host. So it smells really bad. <laughs> so, uh, and the general big doors signs is the presence of the uh, so it's doesn't matter actually. Okay, so uh, I'm really excited to show you how it's easy to get a sense of control over the situation and get your sense of calm with virus die. In this case, with VPVCD, using uh, VPVCD as an example. So 
let's try a demo. So you want to show us how it looks like when we have WPV CD on our site and we want to remove it with virus die. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We have, let's do it. We have prepared some demos for you. Okay. I'll try to show you some other screen. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we are. I'll try to make it a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, that's cause of Windows. I have to use it. Okay, now I have the dashboard. So, okay. Mm -hmm. You have two displays or? Three actually, it's, <laughs> <laughs> that Zoom can understand how to deal with that. So, uh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So here we are. We are in, in the virus die dashboard. There's three website samples, and we can do all we want with them. So, and for today, I want you to show how virus die can detect, for example, VP. We see the long, uh, back door and fix it in one click. So uh, here's an example. Uh, just clicking on start wheel and the scan is running. Okay. Uh, to find out some more details, we can just click on the left side block. How long does this scan usually take? Uh, it takes seconds actually, and it depends. The scan process depends uh, on some options like your server performance, the number uh, of files and folders, of their volume. But in general, it takes seconds for most common and most popular CMS. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. 66% and oh, okay so uh, just check out how smooth it works with no page refreshing and we have a hint and uh, we have a hint look something there and all files can be cleaned automatically we can just press where we want, just out of model window. And the scan report is already opened for us. And we can make it a little bit wider. So uh, we can find that file, five files found by worse than seconds on your website. And we can go through those files, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we are in the file editor. We have a built-in file editor. We can just scroll down and boom, we have some mal uh, malicious code highlighting. So uh, we can find the complete malware descriptions or vulnerability descriptions right here. Press just uh, on link. So the most uh, most common information we need, it's right here, the status, the, if uh, automatic malware removal is available, and some comments. Of course, depending on the type of malware or vulnerabilities of mm -hmm. water gen, uh, this is the difference. And it's really, um, this is an example of small details uh, showed and uh, in, in a lot of cases, we have 
really wide, uh, really big uh, recommendations, including links to where to, you can get the new updated version of some plugin and what should you do after. Uh, for example, here is the recommendation that you should may make sure that you remove the website cache after a cleanup. Just okay. This, just like this. Okay, so now what we can do with that? We can actually investigate this effect score uh, on our own manually. Uh, we can download this file or remove this file entirely or make some changes here, right? It was highlighted what? automatically. Yeah, it highlighted automatically. Mm -hmm. And in some cases, it uh, highlights some strings. For example, I know that this kind of malware uh, removes just with entire file, this mm -hmm. remove file. In some cases, and for most cases, we try to teach virus die to just crop um, infected cord from files. In any way, it doesn't matter, it removes the entire file or removes some malicious code fragment from file. The site runs stable after cleanup. I'll show you that. So, so uh, it's enough with that. So you can find how smooth and boring on Barbus Die. Choose, for example, to way back to our scan repo, you, can, you, you shouldn't find where to close the, the layer with uh, file editor. Okay. You, you can just press or click on the layer you want. For example, here. Oh, mm -hmm. we are here. So, uh, what we can try? We can try to clean up all this file just in one click. We can just click on clean up button and clean up all files automatically in seconds. So, just like this. The scan okay. report becomes the cleanup report. It's mentioned here. The five of five files, out of five files, five files get cleaned automatically. So, mm -hmm. uh, as you may see, some of them were deleted or removed completely from the server, and a couple just been cleaned. So, what's the difference? We can show it. So, for example, about the cleaned file. So, we see that the syntax is all right. So, the file became stable. And we have automatic backup for you. So, we can switch to a tab for backup and see what was that. So, that was uh, include a WordPress inject. Mm -hmm. That was include of the previous leak. So the virus die crops it automatically and save the syntax of the PHP file. So just like this. And for the second the file, the same situation. So that was the other type of WordPress inject and same. That was removed completely automatically from this file and seconds. So just like this. And file stable. It's not nullet. This size is not zero. It's not removed. The function of PHP mm -hmm. file may include in the summary of files, and there's no sheet in this core anymore. And your your website stable, so your business don't go into the hub. So and some other files being removed. We can actually back them to life just from here for cover, or it doesn't matter. So, this is how Virus Dynes Universe works with WordPress VCD backdoor. And all vulnerabilities uh, you can find through that uh, backdoor. So, and as you can see, there's no more red alerts on your website. Mm -hmm. It's clean. We can actually recover all files from backup entirely, or we can try to rescan this website again and try to find what happened now. 
Okay, before it finishes, um, tell yeah. me why would these hackers like put backdoor access to um, your to your site? Is it because I don't know backlinks or why would they do it? Like, what is their motivation? <sighs> There is a lot of ways to be motivated for hackers. Mm -hmm. So, in a big way, so uh, the reason is money, not just tricks, not just fun, just money. Uh, in most cases, infected with the PVC website became the part of botnet to attack other websites, the other servers, or uh, make uh, distribution denial of service attacks. Mm -hmm. As you may see, no tweets found now. A uh, lot of things, sales spawn and and for example, um, it's a new trick to mine some Ethernet or Ethereum or some other types of cryptocurrency mm -hmm. right on visitor browsers just uploading and running the GS on their uh, web browsers. So that was for them too. Actually, they, it's just a backdoor and there are a lot of backdoor uh, for WordPress and other system uh, for other CMS and popular CMS and not popular CMS. And it, it, it doesn't matter whether actually, it's just a backdoor. It lets a checker uh, use your server and use your website in their needs as its own. So it's, done, uh, it's not mm -hmm. more your business, it's the business of your attackers. So, mm -hmm. so, so at last, no tricks found, fine. So the last reference is clean. Okay, so that is what I want to show you. Okay. Uh, through the VP VCD vulnerability mm -hmm. So uh, I'll try to way back to our web okay. demo. Uh, sorry about that. Windows makes fun. Okay, um, so uh, you also need to check your WordPress for extraneous accounts uh, with administrative permissions. Uh, since the site was under the control of an attacker for some time, additional backdoors, mailers, etc., other than WordPress visity might else appear. And we do our best to find and to move those all automatically too, but shit happens, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Check it on your own, and if you believe it's still here, ask us to, to help with no additional cost. So, if you're faced with VP VCD, we recommend you install WordPress stamps and plugins from official sources for you. And now you know you can use virus die to get your sense of control over the situation, at least in those kind of cases. Mm -hmm. So, actually, in a big way, this was a huge webinar for today, but it's it's short in time. It's, so, actually, it's enough. It's all I wanted to show you for today with virus die. It's about vulnerabilities in general, in a big way, about the market, and in a small way, how virus die can help you with vulnerabilities and bring your business to your life. So, just <laughs> like this. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Uh, tomorrow we talk about web agencies and uh, how they draw cyber strike fire upon themselves and how, how many of them survive. Can you tell me a little bit more about this topic? Because this sounds quite complicated for me. Uh, yeah, sure. The thing is that when you have a lot of websites, you have a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. Just 
due to the theory of probability, the number of vulnerabilities and problems more than more websites you have. And if you are a web security agency or just a web agency or developer or uh, search engine optimization agency, it doesn't matter. If you, if you are a digital agency, you operate with a number of clients' websites. And this really increase your risk to be hacked, uh, to faced with cyber risks mm -hmm. dramatically, to increase it completely dramatically. So that is why the web agency is under the strike first. Okay. Just and we'll try to show you how web agency alive for today and how it can be for tomorrow mm -hmm. with, with some other solutions. So just like this. All right. So guys, uh, that's tomorrow's topic. And then the day after we talk about complexity, the fundamental problem of professional grade website security software on market. Um, then on November 25th, it's a big day, launch day. So we're launching detailed walkthrough, how to set it all up uh, and Q&A, of course. And then two more webinars, how web agencies can make some extra cash by offering website security, virus die agency account walkthrough. And November 27th, uh, what is better uh, to use to protect SMBs websites against attacks, uh, expert services, software service, or on-premise software. So guys, if you want to be uh, part of these webinars, please make sure that you will go to virusdie.heysummit.com. We'll take you to this beautiful landing page. You will just fill in your name, uh, I mean your email address, and we'll send you all the links uh, to attend these webinars. Replay will be available on YouTube tomorrow. Today it will be available on Facebook. So um, if, you, if you joined a little bit later, it's okay. You can still watch it. So Elia, thanks a lot for joining. Thanks everybody. Thanks for you. For, thanks for, for you guys. Thanks for, for, you. for, for watching. Uh, we didn't have um, much questions uh, today. So uh, I believe that there will be more on November 25th, right after the lunch. <laughs> Probably. All okay. right. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye everyone. Bye. All right. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.